Hello, everyone, and welcome to another FAST class. I'm Christian, an ERP technical consultant at uh, Savantis Technologies. Today, we're diverging a little bit from the set schedule. Uh, we had originally planned to talk about reconciling payment journals, but Microsoft is in the process of making changes to these functions, and we want to provide an updated FAST class um, when those shifts are complete. So check back on reconciling payment journals. Uh, but we hope you'll enjoy today's related topic, which is highly requested. We're going over bank reconciliation in Business Central. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat and my colleagues are here to answer them for you. Um, Microsoft is replacing the current legacy manual bank rec and bank link options with revamped ones, um, which we're really liking here at Savantis. Though all environments are gonna be transitioned to the updating settings in Q2 of 2023, we now are opting to turn these settings on for all new tenants we create, uh, and you can enable them before the official transition as well, if you'd like. Uh, so for the sake of this class, please be aware we are using the new version of the bank rec and link options. Uh, this class is a great debrief if you've recently enabled them or you're going to enable them soon. If you choose to wait for the 2023 transition, this lesson is going to be recorded and will be in the fast class community if you want to reference it again. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is import a bank statement from a downloaded, downloaded bank document. Uh, to do this, we need to make sure that the document is saved prior to getting started. So I will just pop that open here. I've got my bank import saved and ready to go. Right, has all of my, my information in it, all the transactions. Um, we don't we we can't have this open on the computer when we do the import so i'm going to go ahead and close that now right and we're going to start in vc by searching bank account reconciliations right got one open here uh once we're here though i'm doing a new one so i'm going to go to home and click new and then we're gonna select the bank account that we want to do a reconciliation for. Um, it just is gonna give us a list of bank accounts that are already set up. If you need instructions for how to set up a bank account, we'll include those in the chat just in case you need them. For now, I'm gonna go with checking and then click okay. All right, that pulls open my bank rec. I'm gonna click bank and import bank statement uh, to pull in my file that I have ready to go. Okay, if uh, if your bank statement was not already populated prior to importing the stock, this box is gonna appear suggesting one based on the file. Uh, this date is right for us, so I'm gonna click yes. Uh, you can also enter the date manually um, after importing under general. Here we also have the statement number and the ending balance for the bank statement. Uh, which I'm going to put in. Okay. Uh, now we're going to get into matching. So we're going to use the system auto match. We can do that by going to matching and then click match automatically. Uh, a pop-up box is going to ask us for the tolerance for, for date matching, which means that the auto match function will only look however, however many days we specify uh before and after the bank ledger entry posting date to find matches how long do you want this tolerance to be depends in part on your bank and how they process transactions so i'm going to go ahead and just enter 10 days and then i'm going to click ok all right so you can see eight reconciliation lines out of nine were matched and i'm going to click ok so the system matches and we see that the bank statement lines on the left and the bank account ledger entries on the right the transactions matched are in bold green. So for example, we can see that uh, this item here, Nod Publishers for 17,273.87 is matched up with this transaction for the same amount. Okay, so if for some reason that auto match matched two uh, transactions that shouldn't be matched, let's just use this $17,000 transaction for example, uh, we can unmatch those by selecting the line on both sides and then come up to matching and remove match and the match is gone similarly if 
for some reason, uh, the, the auto match function doesn't match transactions that should be matched together. You can do the same thing, highlight the two lines, go to matching and click match manually, and that's going to match them up. And now they're green. Sometimes when you're doing a bank rec, there's going to be lines from the bank statement that don't have entries in BC. We can tr create transactions right here from the bank rec by selecting those lines uh, and then going up to the top, clicking home and transfer to general journal. Uh, so down here at the bottom, you can see I have a monthly expense that came through. I'm just going to highlight that line, click home, transfer to general journal. It's going to ask us which general journal we want to we want to transfer that to. I have one for general and a batch for bank, so I'm just going to go with that. But you can select something different if you need. I'm going to click OK, and that's going to populate a line in the general journal for each line we selected, which means that all that's left for us to do is to enter the appropriate expense or revenue account for each of the lines. So I'm going to click the drop down on account. I'll just use miscellaneous, miscellaneous expense tab off of that. And because these entry lines were created from the bank reconciliation, the bank account is already referenced and we don't need to specify that uh, in the balancing line here. So once all of our lines have been updated, we can post these transactions from our general journal. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. and our journal lines have been successfully posted. Now I can back out again, and we know uh, we can see here that that transaction is now green and has been matched. So now onto finishing our bank reconciliation, we know we're good to go and can post the reconciliation when all of our bank statement lines are green, meaning that they're matched. Uh, the total difference down here at the bottom is zero, and the total balance matches our statement ending balance. So all three of those things are good for us. So we can post this now by clicking the drop down for post and going to post and print. Yes, I want to post it. And it's going to give me the option here to, to, to print. I can send it to a PDF. I can uh, send it to an email or I can just print it or you can preview or cancel as well. So we can just take a look here, preview this, print it how I want. Go ahead and close out of that. And now our bank reconciliation has been posted. So if we go to the bank account card for our checking account, drill into that, we can click bank account and view statements. And this is going to show us any posted statements that we have. So here are the one we just posted, number 27 uh, is in here. And we can click into them if we want and view the details of that. And if we have any other historical state uh, bank reconciliations, uh, they'll be in this list as well. Uh, I wanna mention that bank reconciliation can also be automated by linking a bank account in Business Central to online banking. We're not gonna go through that right now, uh, but we'll include a resource for that process. And if you're really interested in that, let us know in the topic suggestions tab in the fast class community, and we might make that a fast class topic in the future. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. We hope that you'll join us next week. The topic is going to be easy sales calls with the Teams integration and Dynamics 365 sales. Have a great day, everybody.